Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon and Scorpio Rising weekly tarot reading for August 13 to August 19, 2018. So this is going to be a four card tarot spread and after we are done with the tarot spread we are as well going to do a Lenormand reading for the Scorpio for that particular week. So the first position here uh, in the tarot reading represents for you Scorpio the uh, topic of your week then the second card will represent the core of the situation that you do have afterwards uh, is going to be uh, the challenges that you need to overcome here and the last one it is uh, the guidance that you should adopt with um, that is given to you by uh, by tarot all right so let's see what we got the first card that will be the temperance so this is going to be rather very uh, peaceful week for us for the reasons that we are going to be uh, pretty much resigned with what is going on around us so we are going to accept the flow of the situation the way it is and we will uh, stop struggling anymore to make any difference because it is most likely that we are going to realize the difference cannot be made or it is just the cost the price that we need to pay for that difference we want to make is going to be more than we know so for some of us this card play out, play, plays out here as a, a very huge insight um, on our behalf making us realizing that uh, we can be so much more productive productive in a different field of the one that we are trying so desperately to make it right according to our standards and according to our beliefs. Now the temperance here asks you to take a, a very humble approach toward any kind of situation and toward any kind of person when it comes to the topic and it's very important here to, um, to adopt the standpoint that we cannot bruise ourselves, our opinion and our expectations upon other people and we need to honor their decisions we need to honor as well you know their uh, their opinions if we want that to be returned to us i mean our our, po our points of view and our opinions to be honored as well um <clears throat> the temperance also says to us that at that week uh, it is unlikely that we are going to face any kind of difficulties, predicaments or uh, annoying um, undertakings either into our career or either into our relationship for the reason that we are going to be resigned with everything that is going on and we are not going to see you know, the dirty work as a, a work of aggravation and annoyment but as something that needs to be done in order the situation to be set back in stir. The next card shows the core of the situation here. This is going to be the Seven of Pentacles. So, um, as we said about the uh, resignation, uh, this card refers to the insight and the realization I talked about here in the Temperance card. And we are going to discover, uh, you know, what is the benefits for us in a particular situation, rega situations regarding career or relationships. Now, this card points that uh, that is going to be a very crucial week of where we are throwing our time to and our resources as well especially those who are dealing with private business this week they are going to uh, most likely reprioritize certain resources realizing that they are throwing money into the wind all right and that's um uh, that they could use those resources for much more productive goals because the eight because uh, the seven of pentacles uh, as a number seven it is a about wisdom it is a about insights it is a about knowledge Alright, so it is likely as well that you're going to make a thorough research if something is bugging you here. But uh, that research and knowledge, it is uh, regarding, you know, <clears throat> the best uh, the best way you know you can end up profitable for the means that you do exert into your situation so that will be a, a huge week for you Scorpios uh, for us in general in which we will basically going to sort out poignant situations in our life and uh, we are just gonna keep on moving toward better ends here 
Now the next card represents the challenges that we need to overcome. We do have a person, very emotional one here with the king, with the Knight of Cups, and uh, as in a uh, in a challenging position or in a negative position, this card could play uh, a role as a um, a deceiver, you know, as a liar and uh, as a seducer. So especially you ladies, as this is more masculine card, you have to be very careful what you hear from people. And again, the, the key here lies in the Seven of Pentacles, asking you to scale everything that it is told to you against what is actually possible. And don't allow yourself to be deceived from that person because this could play out for example like this you know you just met that guy all right and on the second date he tells you that he cannot live without you i mean that's excuse me but that is kind of um a statement full of crap because this guy barely knows you you know so uh, you should not believe into celluloid statements, either career-wise or either relationship-wise as well. That is very important. But always uh, try to be ob objective here. Maintain your uh, balanced standpoint, which means that always you, you always need to consider that things are going to go to worse. All right. Not necessarily they will, but you have to consider that possibility and also stay objective here with uh, what is what can be achieved at this very moment rather than what could be achieved 10 steps further from that moment. And the last card here represents uh, the uh, guidance that you should adopt for the duration of the week. Uh, this is going to be the Tree of Swords. And that card is about emotional and mental healing. And it's, it is very tightly connected here with the uh, humbleness that you are going to adopt um, regarding, you know, the situations and regarding in general what is going on in your life. Realizing, you know, that uh, if someone... Um, if someone insulted you in a certain way, you know, if someone uh, kind of took advantage from you, for example, relationship wise and dumped you afterwards, you know, and uh, or if someone uh, played a surreptitious game into your uh, into your career uh, and all that is over now, you know, but you're still thinking about it serves none favor, but the one who did this to you, all right? Now, a very good friend of mine said to me once one thing, and it was, you know, the, the biggest revenge you can give to people who took advantage from you and then afterwards throw you under the bus is to show them that there is life without them. So instead of overthinking what happened in the past, you know, and why, for example, you have failed into a relationship or into a project and you have your fears, you know, for the future, etc., etc., and you are allowing those thoughts of that poignant experience to twist and tangle through your mind, it is likely to find yourself lost, you know. So instead of doing that, uh, why don't you just focus on the brighter future, you know, just accept that that is a lesson that you had to learn, all right? and you have made your notes there, you learned your lesson, and you will not allow that to happen again. Okay, this is about mental and emotional healing through accepting that what is done is done, and if you try to recapture it, the only thing that you are going to do is lose tomorrow. So focus on tomorrow instead of yesterday. And uh, let's see now what the Lenormand has to say here for us, the Scorpios, for the week. Now we do have the dog uh, with uh, the second card that is going to be the letter. And the third card, we do have the, uh, the ship. All right, so that, that depends very severely on your situation or on our situation. There is no question that it is uh, that, you know, it regards to a, a very loyal and faithful companion that we do have here. And they're going to write to us in a certain way. It's going to be through text that is described here by the letter, right? Written text or something. Now, the only variation that we do have here is the... Um, the ship. Now, the ship could stand for a speculation, all right? So, a friend of yours is going to text you about, a, uh, about a, with a certain statement that could be speculated on. 
or it could also mean uh, adventure. A friend could text you with an invitation for adventure, I like going somewhere, you know, on a vacation. Or a friend could text you, um, what was I about to say, uh, from afar. And the, um, uh, you know, the message could come from afar, abroad, for traveling, you know, as I said. But if the message comes from afar, it's going to be uh, something very, very significant here because that person can be trusted, all right? They, they should be trusted. So, that being said, Scorpio, this was your uh, weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for August 13 to August uh, 19, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and in case you're interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rod signing out now, see you next time, bye!